Welcome to Sales Management in Six. In this course, we will take a deeper look at some of the elements of sales management. Salesforce management is a process with one step logically following another. Control the pieces and you control the whole. For each piece, we will build models and methodologies. We will look at how these models and methodologies translate into strategies and tactics. As a sales manager or a student of sales management, you must not just understand each step, but also the holistic system of how all the elements interact with each other. Some sales managers are inspirational motivators, but don't understand the process of hiring salespeople. Others excel at coaching, but don't understand the importance of performance evaluations. We have broken the sales management process into five distinct elements. In Chapter 1, we will broadly examine modern sales management in terms of its advantages and what makes a sales manager successful. We will study the various principles of management that guide sales managers in the planning and organizing, and we will discuss the various forms of specialization along with their organizational structures, advantages, disadvantages, and when they are most applicable. These elements create the framework that we will fill with the elements from later chapters. In Chapter 2, the focus will shift to filling the organizational structures with people. We will examine how sales managers can go about recruiting possible candidates, and once we have a pool of candidates to choose from, we will examine how to screen out unwanted or unqualified candidates. Finally, we will discuss how to select the best possible candidates and integrate them into the team through the assimilation process. Once we have filled the sales organization with staff, we will need to train them. Training will be the focus of Chapter 3, where we will examine the ways in which we can determine our company's training needs, methods of training, and the content of those training programs. As training is a motivational tool, we'll also deal with other motivational aspects and motivational programs that sales managers can use to get the best out of their sales team. Trained salespeople, however, expect to be compensated. So in Chapter 4, we will turn our attention to the different ways in which we can compensate them. This will include a look at the elements that make up compensation, how to combine the different elements, and when each type of compensation is applicable. Finally, it is necessary for us to determine whether or not our strategies have been successful in achieving our objectives and whether or not the money spent on the sales effort has brought about the desired return on investment. In Chapter 5, we will explore the evaluation of overall sales performance as well as individual performance. This brings us full circle. As we move through the modules of the textbook, always keep in mind how the subject connects to everything else you have learned in your other subjects, especially Sales Management N5. Please note that there are three different N6 textbooks, and they do differ in content. Through these YouTube videos and the lessons hosted on Google, we will integrate the content from all three textbooks to ensure you have the best chance of passing the exam. As you work through your textbook, and through the lessons on Moodle and the YouTube videos, when you find differences, note that this is extra content that's been added to bring us in line with what's in other textbooks as well.